Hey family, how you doing? It's Sekhmet L here, aka Madam Oracle, or whatever else. The I call myself a, a fat black hippie. <laughs> Don't you call me that. Don't you call me that. <laughs> Today is <laughs> Thursday, October 3rd, 2024. And I was supposed to have the October reading or October theme channeling up for you already. Listen, sis has been extremely exhausted and sick. Um, I've been on my own ascension level journey and it's just been really progressive. And so sometimes I can't open myself up to receive messages because it'll make me a little bit more off balance. But that aside, um, I do want to say that October is going to be an interesting month. This is not a reading. I'm just giving you an overview of what I'm getting ready to say in the next video. Um, October Spirit gave me the theme of gather yourself. And it actually has a subtopic of or a subcategory categorization of uh, compose yourself, collect yourself and community. Communitize yourself. I know that's not a word, but essentially um there are some things that you're gonna have to permanently get rid of spirit wants us on a trajectory of ascension and when you hold on to things that symbolizes that you are still in contract with fear concerning your comfort zone concerning your growth and your development and honestly it holds restriction to your self-mastery Self-mastery and ascension is a vital part of your human experience. We all know that, well, most of us have a, a certain belief to an extent that we are spirits encountering this human experience. And um, human ascension or the ascension of your soul, it is what is the most important thing as we continue to progress towards whatever it is that you know this supreme intelligence has for us to do and know and become and experience and all those things and so we're gonna be going through a little bit of a, a small little uh, a rough journey you know what I mean and people are gonna choose to settle in fear but if you are connected to me if you are watching this do not choose fear do not collaborate with fear do not submit yourself and acquiesce your being to fear or fear mongering. So I'm going to get into that in the next video and I'll have it tomorrow. Um, also, I just wanted to give a little update because I don't have a large platform, you know what I mean? But one thing that I know for certain is that I am very, very, very connected to the divine. And I just want to encourage you um to maybe watch my prior videos i made up uh, from this summer i made a playlist called um summer 2024 prophecies or something like that and in there's two videos that i really want you to watch because again spirit doesn't want you to operate from fear but rather preparedness and so that is my desire for you as well there was a video called Olokun Speaks where I believe that I predicted or prophesied uh, Hurricane Helen or Helene and what was going to happen as a result of that. But the video that I want, I wish that everybody could watch is the end of an era video because that is the video that started me to having all of these different visions. And from there, you can see where I we was watching the Olympics together and certain things was happening and there hasn't been anything that hasn't manifested yet just like spirit revealed um and i really want you to watch that because there's going to be a whole lot of people and religious organizations and you know the powers that are currently that are going to try to fear monger you and really pimp out your sanity and i don't want you to get lost in fight or flight uh mode and just you know like oh my god what am i gonna do what am i gonna do where am i gonna go what am i gonna do for my family listen spirit will always provide a message and so i really would appreciate it if you could go because there are a lot of things that i said that really actually happened and i'm just like tripping tripping so i'm very blessed to be a vessel but that aside um listen only the strong survive right 
And sometimes the strong need periods of rest in order to recuperate and recover and to build themselves again. And sometimes you have to take what you can on your journey with you and know when to let go. And so I think that this is definitely a season that we're embarking on for these last three months of the year. You have to know when you have to release certain relationships family included. You have to know when it's time for you to move out of an environment, whether that is a literal physical housing move or a mental move and shift onward, upward, forward. Um, I'm not going to keep you right now, but I just wanted to give you that update uh, to watch those videos again, to let you know that um, it's, we. I'm not going to lie to you. It's about to be hard out here for several different reasons. And I'm just saying, don't be one of the ones that gets swept away in fear don't do it now, now it's gonna be hard and you might feel uncomfortable so let's reframe that you, you might feel uncomfortable and you might become intimidated or feel intimidation by this discomfort but what you will not do is acquiesce your person your spirit your soul your mentality your sanity to fear when you do that you become subject to become consumption or parasitic entities low vibrational entities demonic forces and the like and you do not know how to operate within your person i will explain more of this tomorrow until then i love you if you've watched thus far thank you so much thank you for tuning in and you know i'm really still trying not to have as many prophetic downloads on here but as i said this channel is is per the spirit like what i want to do i can't really do right now until spirit releases me so you're gonna get these messages you're going to get these messages and it's going to be with love and it's going to be with, you know, caution and all that. But it's also going to be for real um, because this is very serious. Our livelihood, our legacy, our children, that's a very serious thing. And it shouldn't be tampered with, especially when spirit has designated certain people to hear, see, feel um, things that can help procure your safety so y'all be safe out there i love you take care of your health eat clean you know build up your stamina your oxygen levels um don't go heavy on the sweets this season okay and, and watch your carbs i'm talking to me too but i already got the message so i'm just telling you all right i love you i thank you and i just thank you for your support thus far